In this video, I will teach you the steps to solve simultaneous linear equations. This time, we'll be, we will use substitution method. Step 1. Choose the equation you want to work with first. Priority given to the equation that have 1 as the coefficient. Step 2. Isolate the variable in the first equation in step 1. Make it as the subject. Step 3. Substitute the value in step 2 into the second equation. Step 4. Find the value in the second equation. Follow the order of operation. Step 5. By using the value of the first variable, substitute into any equation to get the value of the second variable. And lastly, you can check the answer by using calculator. Okay, now we see the first example. Based on the given step before, now I will show you how to solve the following simultaneous linear equations by using substitution method. So if you see here, we have two equations. Let's say right now, I label the first equation x plus y equal to 15 as equation number 1. And 3x minus 2y equal to 15 as equation number 2. So, to choose which equation is suitable to use, we need to see the coefficient. So, as you can see here, the first equation, the coefficient for x and y is equal to 1. So, means that we can make either x or y as the subject. So, let's say right now, I want to make x as the subject. So I say that from 1, x plus y equal to 15. So if I want to make x as the subject, I will write x equal to 15 minus y. So now I label this equation as equation number 3. So next step, we substitute equation number 3 into equation number 2. So now we write substitute 3 into 2. So what we have right now, we rewrite the equation number 2 which is 3x minus 2y equal to 15. So from equation number 3, we substitute x here with 15 minus y. So we come like this, 3 bracket 15 minus y close bracket minus 2y equal to 15. Next step, we expand. So, 3 multiplied by 15 and 3 multiplied by negative y. 3 multiplied by 15 equal to 45. 3 multiplied by negative y equal to negative 3y followed by negative 2y equal to 
15. Next step, we arrange according to light terms. Means that on the left hand side, we only put negative 3y minus 2y equal to 15. 45 from left hand side, we move to the right, so it's be it become negative 45. Solve this equation, so negative 5y equal to negative 30. Okay, next, if you want to get y only, y is equal to negative 30 divided by negative 5. So the, the value for y is equal to 6. So the value for y equal to 6. But wait, this is not the final answer. We need to find the value of x. So the easiest way to find the value of x is by substituting the value of y which is equal to 6 into the third equation. By the way, you can also substitute the value of y into the first or second equation. You still get the same answer. But I, now I want to choose the third equation. So I write here. from 3 which is x sorry from 3 which is x x equal to x equal to 15 minus y so next x equal to 15 minus 6 the answer is equal to 9 hence the last answer x equal to 9 y equal to 6 now try these two exercise number 1 x plus 5y equal to negative 4 5x plus 3y equal to 24 and number 2 4x plus 3y equal to negative 9 sorry 4x plus 3y equal to negative 6 and x plus 2y equal to 1. Pause this video and try it first. So, did you get the answer like this? Number 1, x equal to 6, y equal to negative 2. Number 2, x equal to negative 3, y equal to 2. So if you didn't get this answer, let me show you how to get the answer like this. So we say some exercise 1. That's what we did before. We label the first equation as equation number 1. And the second equation as equation number 2. Next, what should you do is see the first equation we have 1 as the coefficient for x we have 1 as the coefficient for x means that we can make x as the subject so a right 
from one x plus five y equal to negative four. So since we want to make x as the subject, we write x equal to negative four minus five y. So label this equation as equation number three. Next substitute. equation 3 into equation 2 means that every x in equation 2 we change into negative 4 minus 5y so 5 bracket negative 4 minus 5y plus 3y equal to 24 okay so expand 5 multiplied by negative 4 and also 5 multiplied by negative 5y negative 20 minus 25y plus 3y equal to 24 next arrange according to like terms means that negative 25y plus 3y leave on left hand side and move negative 20 into to the right hand side so negative 25 y plus 3 y equal to 24 so negative 20 move to the right hand side become positive 20 negative 25 plus 3 y equal to negative 22y equal to 44 so to find the value of y only divide with negative 20, 22 at left hand side same as right hand side so simplify this equation we got 1 on the left hand side 44 divided by negative 2 so 44 divided by 22 become 2 the value for y equal to negative 2 don't forget negative 2 on the right hand side so next find the value of x Sim simply use the equation number 3 to find the value of x so I continue here x equal to negative 4 minus 5y since we know y equal to negative 2 so we just substitute negative 4 minus 5 bracket negative 2 negative 4 negative 5 multiplied by negative 2 positive 10 so the answer equal to 6 to make it neat lastly we write the answer x equal to 6 y equal to negative 2 so this is the answer You may also check this answer by using calculator. So I will show you how to use calculator.
exercise 2 for x plus 3y equal to negative 6 x plus 2y equal to 1 label the first equation as equation number 1 second equation as equation number 2 if you see here equation number 2 have 1 as the coefficient for x so change the equation number 2 so right from 2 x equal to 1 minus 2 y label this one as equation number 3 same as before substitute This time we substitute 3 into 1. So we have 4 bracket 1 minus 2y plus 3y equal to negative 6. Just expand. 4 multiplied by 1, 4 multiplied by negative 2. Four multiplied by one four, four multiplied by negative two, negative eight y plus three y equal to negative six. Negative eight negative eight y plus three y equal to negative six form of the right negative four negative 5y equal to negative 10 next divide by negative 5 divide by negative 5 on both sides why we divide with negative 5 because we want to make we want to leave y alone so become 1 then divide by 5 become 2 negative negative cancel off become positive so the value for y equal to 2 next find the value of x so x is equal to 1 minus 3y so I write in this side from 3 x is equal to 1 minus 2 y since y equal to 2 so we write x equal to 1 minus 2 bracket 2 1 minus 4 so the value of x equal to negative 3 lastly x equal to negative 3 y equal to 2 so as I said before you can check this answer by using calculator